Good morning from beautiful Cosmo, Mexico. We are on day three of our Disney Magic Cruise and we are excited to get off the ship today and do a little bit of exploring just for a little while and then we're gonna get back on the ship and hopefully enjoy the aqua dunk and a lot of other fun things on board. And we have animators tonight for dinner. So let's get the day started. We're up here at the coffee station right outside Cabana's. Much better to get a nice tall cup with a lid instead of getting this tiny little mug that's inside Cabana's. So they've got coffee, they've got whole milk, they've got half and half, they've got hot chocolate and tea, everything you need for free. Melissa got a big giant bowl of Fruit Loops, another big bowl of sunflower seeds, which she's a big fan of. Uh oh. You got a big plate of sauce. <laughs> so there were Mickey waffles there, but ah. they're gone. Got um, banana French toast. That sounds, is that like banana bread? French toast? I don't know. I'll let you know soon. Banana pancake, Mickey waffle, warm syrup, caramel sauce, and strawberry sauce. Alyssa did the huevos sancheros with some Tabasco sriracha, which looks amazing. The pretty. This is the first time we've actually seen the ship without a piece of glass between us and it since we've uh, gotten on board. Since it was storming so much when we got on in New Orleans and we couldn't really even see the ship. I know. This water looks amazing. I don't know if it can really translate through this lens, but that looks incredible. We just got the magic and we're starting to explore the port area and we're just gonna be looking for maybe places to shop, things to do, and we'll share a little bit of it with you guys. So right now we're in a jewelry shop here in Cozumel. I'm doing my best as a girl dad <laughs> to just let them look. They have some really nice stuff here though, but it's also a little bit pricey. So the girls saw some shiny things that they liked, but it was a little pricey at that uh, jewelry store. The gentleman there was really nice though. A little too much for us. <laughs> they do have a pizza hut here at Cosmo. That's a rule for us. So when we're on vacation, we don't eat anywhere that we could eat when we're back at home. We at the store called Culture Art. I know some of these items, this uh, nice gentleman who works here says his wife hand painted them. Carrie might be getting one of these dolphins that uh, his wife hand painted. Such good work. And she also hand painted all, all these crosses. Also looking at these uh, little animals right here, it so reminds us of uh, the spear animals in Coco. <laughs> That's so cool. And these, again, were hand painted. So the store that uh, we're shopping at is right next to the Mary Carmen Cozumel Hotel. I love how they have a sign where it says, no annoying salespeople in charge. Welcome in and take your time. So true. Yvonne is the shop owner. He was so kind, super nice, and showed us where we could uh, get a taxi and get a ride to a nearby beach where we can put our feet in the water, relax, get a drink. Such a great uh, spot if you want to just find some like handcrafted gifts uh, to get while you're here. The girls got some bracelets for friends. Carrie got the uh, magnet, the dolphin magnet. Super fun place to go. So right after that picture, we ended up taking a cab, went to a beach area based on the shop owner's recommendation that, that he gave us. And we're at Hemingway Restaurant and Bar. It is really, really beautiful here. We can see the magic off in the distance. There's a really cool uh, pier that you can walk out on where you can walk into the water. We're so glad we found a place like this because we wanted to just relax in the shade. We got some breeze. So I think we're gonna enjoy some drinks, eat some chips and guac and relax for a bit. Lindsay is just relaxed and chill. It's really nice here, huh? It is. Carrie and Alyssa are checking out tide pools, just looking for things. That's one of Alyssa's favorite things to do at the beach. If tide pools are around, that's where you'll find her. She loves exploring for little creatures or things like that. Our drinks have arrived. This mango margarita is absolutely delicious with the tahini salt rim. Oh my gosh. I'm happy. The girls got a virgin pina colada. With coconut on top, like shredded coconut. It's good. Cheers. Spring break. Clink, clink. I've only been drinking this for like less than five minutes. So yummy. It's so good. The tahini on the mango margarita is so delicious. 
Yeah, that's not something we normally like have, like tahini with like fruit. It is good. I think I'm a I'm a new believer. How is the virgin pina colada lens? Delicious. It took a lot of tries to get the perfect boomerang of like cheers, but it, it, I I got it eventually. <laughs> good job. Wasn't quite the question. Oh well. She's sipping her virgin pina colada. Don't judge her. They just brought us our guacamole, and I think we have a few friends who want to share it with us. They are not going to have any of this. <laughs> it's a guacamole with some salsa and chips, but those it's so cool they shaped it. They got plantains right there. You can't even tell it's a plantain. It just tastes like something crunchy with guacamole. It was good. This is good. We had a really great time here at the Hemingway uh, Lounge Restaurant Bar. It was such a relaxing way to spend a few hours here, honestly. We just relaxed, had some drinks, walked around. There was also an airport right like over that way. And a few planes both were flying out from the airport and flying in. This one airplane was so loud. Lindsay screamed a little bit when it uh, flew overhead. It was kind of fun watching those fly over us. Even though we haven't done much today in Cosmo, We've really liked our time here so far. I love how they have this uh, shipwreck here. <laughs> they just spray painted it and made it into a piece of art. I love the creativity behind that. So we're at Cosimo right now and we're in a Starbucks. I distinctly remember an hour or two ago, dad was saying you'll never catch us dead in like a Pizza Hut or a Starbucks while we're on vacation. I didn't say Starbucks then. Well, you said something like a Pizza Hut, anywhere that we could easily go at home. Starbucks, this, we have one like less than a mile away from us. So what, what are you insinuating? So I'm insinuating that you're going against your own promise. My own rule? Yes. I am going against my own rule. You wanna know why? Why? Because of these things right here. I really came in here to get a Cozumel mug, but they don't have one. So getting a mug, mug, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's well, why, why I came would in you, here. Why would you get a drink? Because or we're at like Starbucks. Food or whatever. So why are you getting something at a Starbucks? I never said that. <laughs> I, I never, I, I never agreed with you. I never agreed. With you. Oh, okay. To be fair, stopping here and getting a drink. Uh, at the Starbucks is 100% for research purposes and for science to see if the drinks here taste the same as they do in America because we're getting uh, our favorite cold drink which is the uh, brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso for science purposes I want to see if it tastes the same as it does where we live in California all right so for science we got our oat milk shaken brown sugar espressos mm, bakery this is really good Carrie has squirrel syndrome she sees a bakery. We'll probably go check it out, to be honest. This is probably one of the better oat milk shake and espressos that I've had in a while. Mexico's doing it right. Or at least Cozumel is doing it right. I dropped it on the floor. Cozumel probably doesn't have a five second rule, so you should probably throw it away. It makes me so sad. Oh, oh, oh man, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna get like a Carmelita, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it looks Yeah, we found this place almost ju just down the way from the Starbucks called Banana and Company Bakery. They have some amazing looking things here, and they have a coffee drink that I am so excited to drink. So this is Banana and Company and their coffee menu. They have ice cream as well. Banachino, right there. That is a frozen banana mocha coffee drink. I think I'm already in love before I even have it. Lindsay got a different kind of pecan bar here. I think it's incredibly better than the other one she had. What do you think? It's really good. It's just very rich. I like that a lot better. Here is my drink and I'll let you guys know about it in a moment. I'm glad I got this. Frozen heaven in a cup. Basically it's a frappuccino with chocolate, coffee, and banana. I love that flavor combo. This is so good. Oh, it's got a little cinnamon in it. Yeah, I just want to say, Lindsay was right when we were at Starbucks. We should have just not gone to Starbucks. We should have looked around a little more because all those pastries and everything look amazing here and local places are always so much better. I don't know why we went to Starbucks. It was like a gut reaction, like a knee jerk thing. Like, oh, Starbucks, I need coffee. They have well, us, they have us reeled in, you know? And the thing with Starbucks is you know what it's gonna taste like and you know you're gonna like it. Sometimes you just want that taste of home. This is a lot better, I have this to say. This is better, so, and it was just right around the corner. Lesson learned. They also have a lot of these like breads, pastries, and cakes. These look so good. We're not gonna get these because 
We're already having so much rich food on the cruise, but you can get a slice of cake here. Those look incredible. Here's some of the pastries they have. Definitely check this place out if you guys are coming to Cosmel. And we are in the cruise port mall area. So that's where it is. Banana and company bakery. Definitely worth checking out. I think we're gonna head back to the ship. We had a fun time here in Cosmel. Time to rest and relax the rest of the afternoon on the magic. That's a deck two porthole room. I love how they have some stuffed animals sitting right there. Greeting all the guests as they come back on the ship. That's so fun. Made it back to our stateroom, put our swim gear on. We are gonna finally hit the aqua dunk. And we're so excited. Uh, Lindsay and I did a dunk water slide at Volcano Bay last year, last summer, and we loved it. It was much, much bigger. Carrie and Alyssa have never done that before. So excited to uh, try something new on a Disney ship. And you can see behind me, uh, the Norwegian Pearl is parked right next to us here at the port. Lindsay and I took a uh, picture in between both ships earlier. We've never been I think where we've had two ships on either side of us before. So it was just fun to see that. Hopefully recording our time on the Aqua Dunk. They have weird rules for bringing a camera or like a GoPro on these water slides. I think I have what's required for that, but we'll see. So we just did the sail away party. It was a lot of fun. Yep. It's been a while since uh, we've seen one because last time we were on the ship, the girls watched it while Karen and I hung out kind of where we're hanging out right now, which is right behind Paulo. We're just watching the sail away from Cozumel. It's we're been a really good day so far, really relaxing day. The weather is much nicer right now. So pretty, yeah. so nice to be outside. This is my like favorite part of being on a cruise is just this. Yeah. I love it so much. I actually hope we can come back to Cosmel and do an yeah. excursion here because they have a really good one our friends did where they took an ATV tour and then had a beach day after that. That sounds incredible. So we'll have to come again. We'll have to come again. Yeah. Cosmel is just such a great port area. Yeah. It's really, really nice. I enjoyed how it was. I mean, I've been to a lot of places in Mexico and I, I love going to Mexico. They're friendly and it felt very clean. It's very touristy. Yeah, the people here seem very nice yes. and very approachable. And even the people that were trying to bring us into their store were still like, they weren't too pushy once they realized you they were leaving. They were really nice. Yeah. Yeah. We have Tangle coming up. Yeah. So we've never seen that one. So we're excited to see that uh, probably in a couple hours. Well, neither of us have a yeah. watch. We're like, no watch. What time is it? Keep looking for it. Anyways, bye for now. Bye. You can see right there, it's on the screen. We cannot record while the show's happening. Well, here's Carrie and the girls over there. And we have pretty decent seats. We're a little bit on the edge, but uh, we love this theater because there really aren't too many bad seats in the house. We're also sitting with uh, some friends we're making on this cruise, the Round family. So we're super excited to uh, hang out with them and check Tingled out. We'll let you know what we thought after the show. Well, we're back in our stateroom. I'm not sure what the girls are at. They're off running. Hanging out with friends. The uh, show was really good. Really good. First time we saw Tangled. Lindsay said she liked it better than the Cinderella Twice Charmed show. Yeah, I liked it a lot better than Twice Charmed. Yeah. And, and Twice Charmed was good, but yeah. it was it was definitely not as good as some of the other ones I've seen. So this was great though. I loved yeah. it. One of the performers is like the visiting Broadway mm -hmm. 
artist. Yeah. And she played Mother Gothel and she did a really good job. Everyone did a great job. Yeah. I think this is a dinosaur. dinosaur? Look, it has eyes. A swan? I think it's a I, dinosaur. I think swan because like those eyes are really like pretty, but it, then you look at the body, it looks like a dinosaur. It could be a pretty, pretty, pretty dinosaur. Or it could be a swan with like hefty legs. There were six candies, chocolates. Let's show them the beds. Ah, good job. This bed that comes down from the ceiling right here, we asked our stairman attendant, Jerich, to not do that because Alyssa, she loved the Murphy bed. And so he set it up for us. And that's what it looks like when it's pulled out and set up to sleep on. And it's it's really cool. Alyssa loves it a lot. She didn't feel worried about waking anyone up when she got down off the ladder, which I didn't know she was worried about that. But, um... Well, she's, she's thoughtful. I thought... That she, I mean, she's always loved being on the top bunk, but she had tried this out last night and she thought it was great. So now she said, I, I'm just going to stick with that. Might as well, since we have this you okay? room. It is uh, choppy <laughs> right now, today. We're moving. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll always be able to get a family veranda state room like this with the extra Murphy bed, but we like the extra space. It's nice. It's really nice for us, especially with older kids. If we can swing it, I think we found our new favorite kind of state room on a Disney ship. Yeah. Now we have about 30 minutes till dinner. So I think Chris and I are gonna go take a few laps around deck four. That's something we haven't done yet that I love to do. So we're gonna go do that. Let's go. We're outside on deck four. We're Who do you see? I see some famous people. Look, go check. Oh my gosh. It's our Z roll and for love of the mouse, we know them. They, they were taking totally pictures. Don't see us. <laughs> <laughs> they were taking pictures with Mickey and Mickey walked away. Landon was super excited because he was showing us through the window that he got Mickey's signature, so he's super pumped about that. But Mickey took off, so I'm not sure if they're waiting for another character, but that was kind of funny to see that. <laughs> so we are having dinner tonight in Animator's Palette. This is probably our favorite version of Animator's Palette, I think. This dinner rotation? Yeah, well, the, the menu and also... The show. The show. Yes. That's happening tonight. Table 30, this is the first time we sat as a large group here in Animator's. Let's, oh my gosh, they have us like right in the middle of the restaurant. Renata is going to give us all the information that we need. She's been amazing. I love this focaccia bread with this uh, roasted garlic dipping sauce. It is so good. I don't usually get the bread service because I don't want to fill up on bread, but this is amazing. Okay, I have my truffle per set. They are amazing. They're hot this time because last time they were cold and it was very sad. And right. there's a whole piece of shaved truffle. It's amazing. Yum, yum, yum. It's scrum delicious. It usually comes with goat cheese and he said he couldn't like make it so it didn't have it. But he brought it to me without goat cheese and it's really good. So that was very nice. So I got the uh, salmon tartare uh, appetizer. Alyssa got one as well. And smoked salmon with dill and a horseradish cream right there. Yeah. I also got the serrano ham and this is also like on a little like crispy baguette with olive tapenade and it's got some cheese and I can't remember what kind it is but it's really good cheese that's all I know. I also ordered the uh, black pasta presets. They haven't come yet so gonna enjoy those in a moment. I got the black truffle pasta presets here. I'm hoping when I eat these they'll be warm at least. When they're cold they're just not that great. I'm gonna let you know this is the first time I've had the pasta presets hot. Like not just kind of lukewarm or cold, but hot. So happy. These are really good when they're hot. Soup courses here with the uh, cheddar and baked potato soup. I usually have gotten the butternut squash one. I think this one's a little bit better. Adam yep. gets yeah chipotle black bean cakes. It sounds delicious. Yep. And I just don't like the menu here. I, I, Kid burger. I'd rather. I'm on a cruise. I had soft serve today. I swam in the pool. Now I'm gonna have a cheeseburger and fries. No judging. Two year old man. So I had that uh, black bean uh, chipotle cake. It was a little dry, but it had a ton of flavor. So I'll give Adam that. It was pretty good. And Alyssa again <laughs> is getting Renata to slice her steak because Renata's the best. <laughs> Here we go. Goes in. Break the veggies, <laughs> veggies, get the veggies. So I got the uh, teriyaki tenderloin steak, medium rare, of course. And I got the uh, tuna steak. Carrie got the tuna steak as well, and she really, really likes it. So I'm excited to try it. That teriyaki steak with a bite of those wasabi mashed potatoes are so good. What do you think of the potatoes, Lisa? Speechless? I knew the Yeah, they're good. <laughs> I think Lindsay was creeping her out. I'm tired of taking. I want to make things. I want to add something to this world. I think it's not everything that I can Uh oh. 
Something's, Something's happening. Oh. Something's happening. Wait. Hold on. Wait, there's more. <laughs> Alyssa just tried to steal my garnish no, from my crunchy walnut cake. Oh, I did steal yeah. his garnish. You stole it? Yeah. Well, how come I got it back then? No! You are a thief! <laughs> well, apparently I have a crunchy walnut cake without my chocolate garnish. And also my lemon icebox pie. And I'm going to... Oh, it's white chocolate. I'm not a big white chocolate no. fan. So that uh, chocolate walnut cake, always amazing. Lemon icebox pie. Also amazing. Carrie was kind enough to give me a little bit of her warm sticky date pudding and she left me some ice cream. It's one of the reasons I love that lady. You can make four choices. You're not leaving early red flag. That's fine. <laughs> Girls are leaving. A little before the rest of us are leaving, but that's it's okay. A red flag. It's a red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Total. Total, Total. Total red flag. Total red flag. So we just finished dinner. The girls took off and I I like this dinner. It's a good menu. It's not my favorite. It's my favorite. Well, I thought it was, but I thought we had sea bass tonight, but we didn't. No, I think that might be a different night. Mm. But this was really good. It was. And this is my favorite show. Yeah. We're having like a late night viewer cruise meetup at like 1130. And I just had a cup of coffee, so I'm definitely going to be awake for it. <laughs> Carrie's not about the late night life. No. We'll see you guys maybe a little bit later if there's something else we want to share or when we close it out. Well, as you can see, we are no longer on the ship, but we're pretending to be by laying in our lounge chairs next to our pool, even though it's not really all that warm outside. We're living our best, uh, pretending on, we're on a cruise ship life right now. Uh, I've, Carrie's got her book. We're on our lounge chairs by the pool, and I've got an iced coffee, and it actually has the same ingredients they put in the iced salted caramel coconut latte. I actually asked the baristas in Cove Cafe what syrups they use and I looked it up and I actually got the same ones they use in Cove Cafe. Yeah, they're pretty good. So we're doing everything we can to pretend like we're still on the ship. Obviously we're not. We totally did not close out the vlog for day three when we went to Cosmel when they had the sail wave party. We had the meetup, which we'll talk about in a moment, but it's, uh, yeah, we totally dropped the ball. We were really tired. It was such a fun night though after yeah. dinner. We ended up uh, just seeing some characters, taking some pictures with them. The girls went off and did some fun things with their friends as well. I think they probably did karaoke again, among other things. I know that they were tracking down some characters and talking yeah. to them. After that, Carrie and I just went up to the top deck on deck 10, walked around because the weather was actually really nice that night. After that, uh, we went down to deck nine for the meetup. It was so fun. It, and it was different from the first meetup. There was like a different... The one in New Orleans. Yeah. yeah. I feel like at this point, and if you hear a squeaking noise in the background, that is our dog with her chew toy. <laughs> She's living her best life on her on her grass. Yeah. In New Orleans, I had felt really kind of anxious about it and worried. It was just so casual on the cruise ship. We already recognized a lot of people, so it was just really fun to hear people's stories and talk to people. And I mean, I wish we could have done that even more, but it was it was just a really fun night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, even though we ended it a little bit weird, we haven't done this in a long time or we haven't ended it like where we were. You know the drill, hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys don't miss any more videos. We have a few more uh, videos from our Disney cruise on the Disney Magic. Next week, we're gonna be going to Grand Cayman. We had a great day there, a little bit weird weather again, but we're looking forward to sharing that with you guys. I just wanna say also, as we are, well, Chris is really making the videos and I love watching them. We thank you so much for all the comments. It's really fun connecting with you. You know, if you wanna say hi in the comments, we love to connect. So anytime you wanna say hi, we'd love it. Have a great week. We'll see you guys really soon. Bye. Bye.